woke up it is way too early to have the actual light on in the bathroom hold on i'm gonna put the light on this is creepy anyways i had to wake up early because nikki and i are filming a nikki and gabby video today we have a busy schedule we have a lot to do I know I've showed you guys this in a lot of my other videos, but you guys know like I'm obsessed with natural like face products. This is what I've been using lately along with my Dior scrub. You pretty much just customize the face products according to like what's important to you and your skin type. I'm using the cleansing milk first, just in case I have any like leftover makeup on my face from last night. I never trust makeup wipes. I still had makeup on. And now I'm just gonna use my face soap. Now that I washed my face, I'm ready to do my makeup. I'm gonna show you guys this natural makeup I've been doing lately. I'm gonna wear it for the video today. I wanna be like a little more natural. If you guys think this is a lot of makeup for a natural makeup look, please don't tell me that because you're just gonna make me feel very bad. Too Faced sent me their Primed and Peach Skin Perfector, so I like to use this as a primer. You guys know I always usually use the Clinique foundation, but Too Faced sent me the Peach Imperfect foundation, and I noticed I'm a mixture of mocha and sand. Next, I like to fill in my eyebrows with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't like to draw mine on, I just like to fill them in and go along with like the natural eyebrow I have like that. I love the Kim Kardashian contour palette. I'm gonna take a MAC brush because I don't really like the Kim Kardashian brush. I have really big bags under my eyes so I'm going to take Tarte tape and I'm just gonna go under my eyes and on my nose because I, you guys know I love a pearly nose. And instead of baking my face, because this is a natural look, I'm gonna use the Too Faced I Want Candy Banana Pudding. It's so amazing, especially if you have like a yellow undertone to your skin. Now I'm gonna take Rose Quartz by Becca. It's pink and beautiful and broken. Into the inner corners of my eyes. I'm gonna put this really peachy, shimmery color all over my lids. I'm gonna use the bronzer that I put on my cheeks into my crease. I'm gonna take my black highliner and I'm just gonna do a small line up top. Now I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, it's not a natural look if you wear false lashes. But I am filming a video with Nikki, so... I want my eyes to look bigger. I'm gonna trim them in half though so it's not as like extreme. So they look like this. I'm gonna take Spice by MAC and outline my lips. I think my makeup has evolved from when I used to like cake it. For my lips, I love the Peak Cosmetics Do It Dual Liquid Lipstick. So right now I have Spice on my lips by MAC and the color that I like for my liquid lipstick is Amaretto Sour and it looks just like this Lip liner. Smells like cupcakes. Why do liquid lipsticks smell like cupcakes? Mmm. Now I'm waiting for it to dry. I don't know if you guys have the same issue as me, but I absolutely hate when my liquid lipstick gets hard and cracky and dry. So the reason I use this one every day is because it comes with like clear lip gloss on the other side that you could put on when that starts to happen. And the brush is so awesome. You know what I mean? It like is like a nail polish brush. I'll link this down below too. Now I'm gonna figure out how to get my hair super straight for the video. Yay. I mean, this is pretty, but I want straight hair. So I'm gonna be using my Duval straightener. It's super skinny and small. I'll link it down below. This is my old straightener. This definitely wouldn't do the trick. I got this one at CVS. This one always straightens my hair for like three hours and then all of a sudden I'll start seeing like waves and I'm like, dude.
Look how fast this just straightened my hair. <laughs> I'll be linking the straightener down below as well. Hey guys. Um, yes. Hi. The background, the background looks a little different. But I'm not ready to show you just yet because Nikki and I are filming another Nikki and Gabby video and it is so messy in my apartment right now with like filming equipment. And I don't want my first big reveal of my changed apartment to be like with cameras and lighting and tripods everywhere. So my 24 hour closet challenge video, you guys um, were amazed that Colin brought me KFC and that I ate it. And if you're gonna be watching my vlogs, we gotta have that honest um, relationship. I eat KFC, I eat chicken. This is a decision I make for myself. Um, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for eating chicken, but this is my body. That's what I choose to eat. I don't eat dark meat. I haven't eaten dark meat in like four years, three years. I like dark meat. Mm. Gab, are you ready to film? Mm-hmm. Gab, do I have a back scratcher? <laughs> I bought that on the boardwalk. <laughs> oh my gosh, there we go. Giving away my apartment with all the crap everywhere. I'll show it again when um, it's clean. Look at this. This is functional, that's what they wrote. Nah, she should wear biker gloves more. Look how cute. Adorable. <laughs> and Allie with her lavender. My makeup palettes just keep growing and growing. Look at this cute Candy Too Faced palette. Hey Candy, love you. But yeah, look at this palette, it's so cute. I love these colors right here. The butter, scotch, and sweet toffee. So cute. We're still filming and I have to change my hair, so. Greetings from the car. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> We're waiting for Nikki and Nate, our camera guy, her boyfriend, our producer to show up and help us film this scene at this park. Colin's in this scene. I really like give so much away like in my vlogs. Nikki yells at me all the time. She's like, you're giving away our videos, but like I feel like I'm getting you guys excited. Thought this week's video was fun, just wait till next week. And you guys get to see like what goes on behind our videos, you know? So hey guys, so I'm back at my apartment. I just took a nap. I took off my makeup, but look at this onesie I bought at Walmart. It's the nightmare before Christmas. <gasps> this is so funny. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So you guys, whoo. So you guys have been asking about Colby, and yes, I still have Colby, here she is. I just never like to put her on a lot of my vlogs because I know a lot of people are scared of rodents like they are of spiders. Hi, mommy, hi. It won't focus because she keeps moving. So this is gonna sound super cheesy, but I see a lot of ham mansions on YouTube, and I love my Colby so much. I was like, you know what? I was in Walmart and I was like, I'm gonna buy this dollhouse and let Colby play in it. Hamsters are so limited to like a little cage. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna let her play in like a dollhouse. Cops! <laughs> Is that animal abuse? No. <laughs> The railway. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? No, girl. No, <laughs> girl. Hey. Guys, 
it's safe to say Colby does not like this dollhouse. She just wants to scurry around everywhere. She doesn't like this dollhouse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I see this all over YouTube. Usually hamsters like it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hey guys, so it's the next day, and yeah, that was a hamster fail. But right now, <laughs> don't even ask mom and Nikki. What the heck is a hamster fail? Gabby literally just starts her vlog saying, well, that was a hamster <laughs> fail. We're like, what? I'm in the car with my mom. Mom, and say hi. Hi. And Nikki, and we're going to the King of Prussia Mall to shop with my mom, but it's so sad because I get in the car and my brother just went away to college. I don't really get sad when people go away to school, but it like hit home when my brother did because he's the baby of the family. It's weird that he's not there anymore. And my mom's like, look, look at this hat he got you. And it's for, he goes to Duke University. So yeah, shout out to anyone who goes to Duke. Mom, this is so cute. It's Duke bling. It's Duke bling. Anthony, if you're watching this, I love you and I miss you. <laughs> Look at this hat that I bought. How cute is it? I feel like it totally goes yeah. with this sweater dress I'm wearing. Like with this Chanel pin. I feel like people like hardcore judge me when I pull out my vlog camera in public. It's so embarrassing. Does this look like I'm wearing it wrong? I'll just wear it like this, whatever. Obviously, I'm in Henry Bendel's, Bendel's, and I don't know if I have like an okay to talk about it just yet, but I do want to give you guys a heads up that I am working with the company Henry Bendel for some kind of event around December, so I can meet you guys in the store. So get excited, it's gonna be like a tea party themed. I'm, I don't have any dates, I don't have like an exact location date, although it most likely will be in the King of Prussia location. But stay excited and keep it on the radar and keep your weekends free in December because I wanna meet you guys. So we're eating right now and I just wanted to show you guys what I got for Lily because I, I was unable to vlog in the store. Um, I got her this bedazzled harness and it's made out of Swar Swarovski crystals. <laughs> I bought her this like fake looking Burberry harness. And then I bought her another Chewy Vuitton but this is like red and brown so it looks kind of Christmassy and like ready for like fall and like the winter time. Then I got her a Chunel bone. <laughs> and then I got her a Chunel box. How cute is that? She's gonna love it. <laughs> I also got this Henry Bendel candle and it smells amazing. It's called Amber Noir. And I felt like this box kind of matches my apartment too. Do you think? Hey guys, so I'm back home. I just want to let you guys know that I'm so happy that our family's growing and for that I am trying to make these vlogs as long as possible. One of the most comments I see from you guys is that you wish that these were longer so that's what I'm trying to do for you. I love you so much and I can't wait to see you in my next fancy vlog.